key commands are commands that tell Mac Speech Dictate to enter keystrokes, just as if you had typed the keys manually on the keyboard. You could use it to press individual keys like this. Wake up, press the key 7. New line, press the key X. Press the key up arrow, press the key delete. Go to sleep. Of course, for letters and numbers, you can just use spelling mode. Also, remember that key commands are the same as typing directly on the keyboard, so you want to use the cache document command if you enter or delete characters using press the key. That way, Dictate can edit and navigate the existing text. There's a second type of key command which is very useful, and that is press the key combo. This allows you to enter keyboard shortcuts by voice. If you've memorized keyboard shortcuts, or if there's no built-in command for something, or if you forget a command, you can use press the key combo as an option. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to show you some key commands, and I will mix in a few of the regular dictate commands. So you know ahead of time, command shift option V is the shortcut for paste and match style. Wake up. Press the key combo command A. Press the key combo command shift option V. Cache document. Go to beginning. Press the key combo command A. Press the key combo command B. File close. Press don't save. Go to sleep. Notice I used the cache document command after I said press the key combo command shift option V. This is because I pasted text. Again, anytime you cut, paste, enter, or delete text like this, you want to use the cache document command to help dictate handle the text that's been changed. Then you can safely navigate and edit that text. For more information about how you can use press the key and press the key combo, Please see the Max Speech Dictate Help under the Help menu, or refer to the Max Speech Dictate website or Dictate User Manual. Thanks for using Max Speech Dictate.